mass speculator here, writer of CBSI's True First, avid unicycler, and someone who still cuts the value stamps out of Bronze Age beauties. With all the lists around these days, I figured it was time to get in on the act. Myself and some friends are going to give you 10 undervalued books, books to really dig for. Not a single one should cost you more than five bucks. Are you ready? Here we go. What's up, FOMO? You got a number 10? Of course I do. Batman 692. The Long Halloween is a big play spec book this week, but remember, that series and Dark Victory take place in the year one timeline. This book places Holiday in the mainstream DCU, and he is pictured. Go get it. Number 9, The Last Avengers Story 2. Just so you know, there's a newsstand for this, and it's rare. With all the hoopla surrounding Benjamin Parker, Benji, whatever, I think people have lost sight of the fact that Abrams Benjamin is not the MC2 character. This means we should be looking for the first Benjamin Parker. This is it. Number 8, Venom 16. I think the first Dylan Brock cover is a sleeper. The second print and the exclusives are still cheap. Issue 12 is a baby cover. A, ba a baby cover. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. But this list is crazy. Just crazy. In Avengers 329, the first Cersei Black Knight cover is a good one to slide in at number 7. What do you think, FOMO? You got a number 6? X-Men 94. There's a lot of love going around for House of X and Power of X. If Excalibur 31 can get hot, then this book and number 5 on my list are undervalued. X-Men 94 is the first appearance of Destiny's Journal. And in Chaos War, we get a look at the language Destiny uses, which looks eerily similar to this. In this issue, Mora and Destiny also merge and become one character. Buy them both. Number four, Spider-Man Unlimited number eight. Joe Hill's first pro work is the definition of undervalued. Number three, Web of Spider-Man 61. This book marks the first time Normie Osborn was depicted as a kid, not as a baby. Every appearance prior, he is shown as an infant. Number two, Uncanny X-Men 11. Let's be clear, Gold Balls is getting hot thanks to his newfound importance, but the name helps. He didn't call himself Gold Balls until this issue. And I'm going to come right back with number one, Spider-Man Life of Story. Number three, since these kids are so hot, this one features twins and yes, another Benji. I'm more interested in the first of Claire and it happens here. That's it for my top ten undervalued. Please check back again. I'm sure I'll do another list.